figured out that co-creation, which, which is like the stamp of of hummingbird on the world, is um is actually my own worldview. Well, I've come from London, England. Flew over from England specifically for wow. this training. I've been humbled amazingly by these young, beautiful people. I've been moved beyond belief and inspired. I'm 15 right now. I've never been able to like, actually love myself for the first time. Like, I've, I've never been having the courage to say I'm beautiful, but this place brought me to that spot in my heart where I was like, whoa, I can actually say I'm beautiful without like being like, that's a lie, that's not true. And everybody here really supports each other. And everybody's just so amazing and so open and so wanting to, like, I feel so appreciated here and so heard. Whatever I take here, I'm going to bring it to my school. It's beautiful because I was starting to lose faith in myself and in my generation. But coming here and just seeing all these amazing people, a lot of them younger than me, but I feel like they're ages older than me. They have seen so much. What I came here to learn was how to create space and a safe space and a spiritual and emotional and physical space that's inclusive to not only privileged people, but also people, communities of color and indigenous youth. felt a really loving, deep connection with the spirit of this place and with the land. And now I'm just beginning to worry about going home and getting trapped again into the system. I literally feel like I could live in this tent next to this river <laughs> for a long time. This, this training, this community of people called forth the best in me in a way that was utterly irresistible. <laughs> And I know that I'm going to go back out into the world now with, uh, with an irresistible glow. It has brought me to a place of presence and centeredness um, and fully into my being so that I can be and do what I must be and do in this world. It's just opened my eyes in such an amazing way. I know what I need to do and it's given me the motivation to do it. My experience of Hummingbird is absolute bliss. When I got to Hummingbird, what came out for me was to rediscover a passion. I think for me it's still a work in process. Sometimes this work can't be decided in just eight days. I'm not going to get it right away. It's a process for me as well. I don't know how that's going to look, actually. It might be working within my own community, educate them on what's happening on the earth and allowing allies to enter our community as well. It's reignited my relationship with Mother Nature and nature and I'm blissed out and so in love with her and the trees and everything. I'm just, I'm being barefoot and just everyone, just the sense of community, it just really reminded me, made me realize why I've been so discontent and it's because I have not got a sense of community and it's just beautiful just to have barefoot bliss. <laughs> really. I celebrate the cocooning that's possible here and that I feel like I've been doing mm. and I celebrate um, each of your incredible containership abilities, the chalice that is hummingbird. I call it home in my heart. This is a really special home. Mm. Yay! Looking at things to find